AM Express right now. The top stories we're following for you this Tuesday morning. Motorcycle driver who caused a deadly crash in Lake George two years ago set to be sentenced today. Anthony Futia pleaded guilty last January to manslaughter and aggravated vehicular homicide. Prosecutors say he was impaired when he lost control of a motorcycle on Route 9 and crashed into a bike path. An eight year old boy and a 38 year old man were killed. Investigators also say he did not have a driver's license. National Grid installing four new lights around the Maple Avenue Bridge in Glenville, part of the ongoing effort to stop bridge strikes. Officials also asking drivers to know the height of their vehicles and take a different route if necessary. State Supreme Court judge ruling all registered voters in New York can cast their ballots by mail during the early voting period. The ruling states the legislature did not overstep its authority by passing a package of voting laws last year. Republicans say the state still needs a constitutional amendment to expand absentee voting and they're strongly opposed to this. New owners have been found for Cappy's drive-in out of Amsterdam. It was sold to a Manhattan-based partnership group. The property was sold January 30th for an undisclosed price. The new owners say it will continue to be called Cappy's when they take over and it's expected to open up again this spring. Looking ahead, a famous rock artist coming to Albany later this year. Stevie Nicks will perform at MVP Arena on June 12th. Best known for her time with Fleetwood Mac and her solo career. Tickets for her show in Albany go on sale this Friday at 10 a.m. Should be a great concert.